What's up you guys? It's Susie and Todd from HeyGrillHey.com and today we are back with another mystery bag challenge per your request. Many, many, many requests. But I don't see a bag and I don't know what we're making today. Oh, it's right here. It's in my pocket. Oh my god. <laughs> Smoke cream cheese, baby. Let's do it. No. Todd, tell me why, why? Because it's social media trendy, Suze. That's why. Do you why. actually want to eat it? Yes. You How, actually what is just bad? want to eat a brick of cream cheese. Well, no, you dip, you put rub on it and you dip a cracker in it. It's delicious, right guys? They'll so, tell you. this is not a new trend. This has been around a while. I smoked cream cheese like a year ago. Yeah, but you turn it into a cheese ball. And it was freaking which was awesome. Which amazing, but it's... Freaking awesome. It doesn't meet the requirements of smoked so cream cheese. So, you just cheese. want me to smoke a brick of cream cheese with rub on it? Yeah, but I want you to like... You can zhuzh it a little. So, I can still zhuzh? Okay. I didn't and you buy have, anything else. There's no other ingredients. No. <laughs> All right. So, we're going to go fridge shopping, I guess. Good thing we went shopping yesterday because our fridge is pretty stacked. I'm going to see if I can find anything that sparks any sort of creativity or interest <laughs> to put on top of a couple of bricks of good old cream cheese. Uh, while we're in shopping our pantry and our fridge, you guys can hang out and hear a word from our sponsors. Not sponsored by Philadelphia. Not, not yet. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> hey, guys. It's us. We're our sponsors. Your sponsor. <laughs> so. If you're not yet aware, we have a line of awesome seasonings and sauces at HeyGrillHey.com. Everything is designed to make your backyard barbecue better. They taste really good. I do. No junky stuff inside. And you get to support us while making awesome barbecue in your own house. What's better than that? Thanks, guys. thing I saw was cranberries. We had cranberries? We had cranberries. And it instantly sparked an idea. I have a cranberry kind of salsa that I put on top of brie. The recipe's in the apps on the website. We've been there for a couple years. I love to make it around the holidays. And I think I'm going to put that on top of the smoked cream cheese instead of brie. Similar flavor profiles. Maybe a little less fancy schmancy. But it's super delicious and I think I have everything for it in here. And you don't have to make up a recipe on the spot. And I don't have to make up a new recipe. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. So I pulled up the brie with cranberry relish on my website, miraculously had the ingredients. I've got some almost <laughs> sad cilantro, but it's, it's good to go. We've got green onions, jalapenos, a lemon from my mom's lemon tree. She grows lemons. It's adorable. A big bag of cranberries, some cumin, some salt, some sugar. That's all. In this recipe, I actually cook the cranberries down, but I think I'm going to leave them fresh. I want like, I want it to be bright and punchy. But before we make the salsa, we gotta get the smoked cream cheese ready to go on the smoker. So let's do that. All right, we're gonna do two different cream cheeses. We're gonna do one of them topped. We're gonna do the other one just with the seasoning so we can kind of, cause I honestly, I've never actually tried just the cream cheese with the seasoning on it. Cause I saw it and I was like, that's it. And I was kind of uninspired, we'll say. But I think that's what Todd really wants to try because he's very much, you guys know, he's like simple as best kind of person. So we're gonna do one very simply seasoned with sweet rub. We're gonna do the other one topped with our rib rub and the rib rub one is gonna get the cranberry salsa on top. Um, we've got a smoker preheated to 180 degrees about. We want this, not a full cold smoke because we do want it to actually warm the cream cheese so it's soft but we don't want to cook the cream cheese and melt it. So 180 is our target temperature. And then we're going to score the top so we can get extra seasoning and smoke in all the little bits. I'm also putting this on a flat wire cooling rack. You see me use these all the time because it's so easy to move things from prep to the smoker without sacrificing any of the integrity of the smoke, being able to hit all the sides of the things that you're cooking. Thank you. 
Now they're both scored. Like I said, one's getting my sweet rub, one's getting my rib rub. The recipe for both of these are on my website or in the app, or you can grab a bottle from heygrillhay.com. All right, our cream cheese is ready to hit the smoker. Now in the original cheese ball that I made, I actually smoked the cream cheese for about two and a half hours at 225. I wanted it to be very, very soft as we mixed it into the cheese ball mixture and then it got refrigerated. I want this to have a little bit more um, texture still because we're gonna be eating it right away with the salsa on top. So like I said, 180. I'm only gonna let these go for about two hours, but I'm gonna check them at one I wanted to take on the smoke flavor, but I don't want them to get too soft and weepy. So I'm guessing two hours at 180. All right, cream cheese is on the smoker. Let's make that cranberry salsa. Uh, usually I have one tiny bag. I think they're like 12 ounces of cranberries that goes Honestly, everything just goes into a blender. I'll tell you what goes in it. All the exact measurements are going to be in the recipe link in the video description, or you can find it on the Hey Grill Hey app that's available in the regular app store and the Google Play store. We're everywhere. Like I said, cranberries. Two jalapenos, you wanna remove the seed and the stems. You need a, about a half a bundle of green onions, usually like five or six green onions. A quarter cup of cilantro. If you're a cilantro hater, you can skip this entirely or you can use parsley. About a cup of sugar, which is a lot of sugar, but cranberries are so, so, so sour. Couple pinches of salt and then I'm gonna use about a half of this lemon. We can always taste it and add more after the fact. And then I like to use a little bit of cumin in my salsa. I think it really gives an earthy, well-rounded flavor that I think will taste really yummy over the top of the cream cheese too. Once you get everything in the blender jar, pop the lid on, and I'm gonna pulse this. We don't want it to turn into a puree. We really wanna still see pieces of the cranberry and green flecks of the cilantro and the green onions. So 10 to 12 maybe pulses until it looks like a finely diced salsa. This is exactly what we're looking for. Right now it's like a little frothy and bubbly from being mixed, but we'll let it sit in the refrigerator until our cream cheese is done smoking. All of those bubbles will kind of work their way out and we'll have this beautiful rosy red salsa that's ready to go on top of that smoked cream cheese and then devour it with crackers. I'm actually, I'm getting excited now. This smells real good. We ended up pulling these off at about 90 minutes because they started to get a little bit weepy. <laughs> Which is good. Which is like my concern. I didn't want them to be too soft. So if you were a smarter individual than me, I would recommend chilling these for 20 to 30 minutes. They'll still be soft, but a little bit easier to handle. Um, ours has been sitting outside in the freaking cold. It's really cold. Can you see my breath? For about 10 minutes. Oh, it's all smoke. It's smoke. So maybe they'll be okay to handle, but I'm gonna lift underneath kind of get them up and then see if we can't <laughs> transfer I, these over I think to we our platter. should find something else to smoke those on. <laughs> I mean, listen. Don't do what we did. They're going to be smoky. So points for that. No, this is going to be great. This is what happens when you challenge me and I have no time to recipe test or prep. Usually it takes comes time. Out amazing. It takes time. Okay. I don't like this. Is. This is going great. Like a band-aid. It's going to taste the same, right? Even if it's a little bit funky. So what do you think we should smoke these on? I don't know. To not have this happen, but still get smoke on the bottom. Frog mat? have the same problem. Yeah, it's the same exact problem. Let's clean up around hey, here. Hey, they look good. They just don't yeah. look like bricks anymore. We'll clean this up and get some beauty shots and we'll be right back. That whole thing was like when you watch a horror movie or you're watching Chopped and you're like, no, obviously don't do that, you idiot. And then they do it anyway. That was me trying to move the cream cheese off of that thing. If 
if you learn anything from me, it would be let them cool before you try to move them because they were very soft. But I still think they actually look kind of awesome. And if all of the licked pieces that I tried are any indicator, they taste great. <laughs> so it's not a total loss. Okay, since I didn't know we were doing this today, we pulled random assortment of chips and crackers, etc., from the pantry. I'm gonna arrange those around the cream cheese and then the rib rub is gonna get topped with our cranberry salsa. I just pulled that out of the fridge. It looks beautiful. And then we get to taste it. and plated, you can't even tell that I <laughs> messed them up a little bit. It's fine, they're gonna taste great. What are you going for first, salsa or solo? Solo. I'm going salsa. Typical. I like it zhuzhed, you know? Oh, look at that. That's freaking bomb. That's really good. Tortilla chip with the sweet rub and cream cheese, it's smoky. It's just zesty. It's good, man. I feel like what really shines here is the cranberry salsa. So <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe I need to try it plain. But that's really good because the smoky cream cheese balances like the tangy zestiness that you get from the salsa on top. It's a very cohesive, complete, delicious bite. Like perfect holiday appetizer. Hey. Absolutely delicious. Impress your family and friends this holiday. Impress your friends. Did you taste, was it smoky? Mm-hmm. You're not even gonna try mine? Oh. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> They're both yours. <laughs> mm. That's really good. But it is kind of just like cream cheese. Mm. Like I'd wanna spread that on a bagel or something. I don't know if I would just eat a bunch of cream cheese with chips. Well, that's so good. Plain. I like that one. Oh yeah. That feels like a dish. Smoked cream cheese feels like a topping. You know what I mean? Oh. I love this very much more. <laughs> you can have your plain cheese. Boom, smoked cream cheese. I want that one. Okay, I'm eating, so you have to do it. Listen, people have been asking, I don't know if you knew this or not, people have been asking us to do this. I know some people hate it. You secretly kind of hate it, but now you love it. That was really good. So, boom, we're, this is a new holiday appetizer. I think you guys are gonna love this one. I think your family and friends are gonna love you this one. This is like backyard barbecue hero oh, status yeah. for sure. Maybe not as much clout as a brisket, but people will be asking you for that recipe the whole rest of the year. And you know where to send them. Yeah, heygrillhay.com. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, let us know in the comment section what other mystery bag challenges you would like to see us tackle. We're having a lot of fun doing these. I think we really like making them together too. So, yeah. we'll see you guys next time. Yeah. 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 <laughs>